Call me. Is this your dear? Yes. I was just wondering why I was fired. Well, I think, I think well, uh, there was no guy at the changer. A video doesn't lie. And you stuck your hands in it and you spilled the quarters everywhere. You shouldn't have touched my buckets of quarters. I didn't, and I didn't mean to spill them and as you can see them. You the shouldn't have touched them. I thought you wanted an explanation. I'm giving it to you. If you thought that someone was going to dip their hands or if you saw someone do that, you should have run to me or called me out, number one. Number two, the more and more I think about it, uh, I, I don't know why you didn't call me out because you were talking to me while I was in the back of the store from your desk where everyone could hear. And then, I, and then, and then when it's most important for you to reach out to me and say something, you don't. You took it upon yourself to take two buckets and put them behind the, hide them behind the desk, which was very strange, no, very strange. You did, you, what do you mean you're going to move all of them? And you had you had the customers helping and all this. That doesn't make sense to me, Destiny. Destiny, it's shady. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You got caught, and now you're now and now and now, and now you're upset. The video doesn't lie. Can you please let me explain to you why you stole the why you were trying to steal money? Yeah, go ahead and explain to me. Destiny, I told you to get behind the desk. You kept on telling everybody in the store that you were going to the emergency room and that you had a, a negative COVID test and that you were very deathly ill. And then you're out there. Then you're out there going near all the customers, like calling people in to get them to get you out of there because I didn't want you near the customers or anybody. And I told you just stay behind the desk. You didn't. You're walking, and it, it was just bad. I don't know. Bad look. Bad look. Uh, when when would that be your responsibility? Okay, I trust my customers. Number one, number two, that you know better. I didn't ask you to go over there. It, uh, why, why do you say, hey, Jodan, I'm helping, I'm helping. Uh, but you didn't. You you were sneaky as hell, and you got caught. From us. Good, That's good. A good, a, a good worker for you all. I was just trying to help you all. Like, it, to me, when the lady was looking at, she was standing right in front of me. And it looked to me like the dude, he went over there, and it looked to me like he grabbed some quarters. No, the dude that was over there put a, a dollar bill in the changer and got changed. Our customers know this. They see this all the time. You were the only one that approached the quarters. You were. You grabbed one with the handle and the quarters went flying everywhere. I yeah. saw, I, I have video where customers are putting quarters in their, yeah. in their pocket. And, and no. Nobody put them in their pocket. I, well, the, okay, well the video doesn't, the, the video doesn't lie, Destiny. We put them, well, I didn't see anybody put them in their pocket. The ones that helped them. Well, you also said, you, you, you also said that you saw a guy running out the door with a handful of quarters. That wasn't true. That wasn't true. Nobody left. Well, who? Because they who? Who? The woman was standing right in front of me. We were talking at the same time. No, no. Well, I, I'll tell you what. The, 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 I have a. That's an amazing video because it it just tells the opposite of what you're saying. And, uh, and, and, you know, the video doesn't lie. I, I hate to break it to you. The video doesn't lie. Uh, but, but, you know, you, 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 you're. I didn't take anything. I was just trying to help. No, you found it before. No, you, you weren't trying to help. You, I saw what you did. Okay. It's, it's obvious. I, I don't trust you. So I can't, I can't let someone work for me. I don't trust anyone. Well, let me ask you this. What was the lady passing back and forth to you on the counter? Tell me that. I'd like to. Back and forth you, what do you well, you were right behind the counter. She whispered something to you, and then she slid her hand down the counter. You grabbed it, whatever it was. Then you took something, slid your hand back across the counter, and she grabbed it. What was that? I don't even know what you're talking about no 
Uh, you see, you see, you, you obviously don't, I, I don't understand. I don't know, what, I don't understand how you could possibly not know what I'm talking about. Because it's plain as day. I mean, you pass, you pass notes back and forth to ladies in the, in the laundromat? Are we in second grade? Well, that, that, that alone is insubordination. You're sharing notes that Brandy would have given you, your manager, and you're showing them to, uh, it, 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 showing them to a customer. That's, that's basic insubordination. That's, that's backstabbing. That's, that's conniving. That's not right. We don't do that. Uh, you, you know, I mean, it, it breaks the trust chain that we have out here. I, I try real hard, but, you know, I was hoping, I was hoping you weren't lying to me when I looked at that video. But it, it's it's like in the twenty years in the twenty year in the twenty years I've been doing this. <laughs> this is not, why do you say, hey, why do you turn around and say Jodan, this guy took quarters? Why do you do that? Well, you know what? For a girl, for a girl, I'm gonna wait, wait. I don't care about that. For a girl who could hardly walk around and was talking like this. Boy, I've never seen anybody grab two buckets of quarters and run so fast behind the desk. I mean, you you had a very quick recovery, and that was amazing to me as well. I'll just throw that out there. I was just trying to help <laughs> yeah. to keep from the people stealing from you. Oh, really? Like, he took quarters. Oh, to really? Right. So, so my it's your, it, but, but my point of view is this. And you, you can I saw everything on the camera. You were making sure I was in the back. You looked at me. You looked at me. You looked at me, but you didn't talk to me. You were making sure I didn't see. I'm not stupid. I didn't fall off a dumb tree and hit every branch on the way down. You didn't deserve the chance because I was right there. I was 15 feet away when you did this with my back turned to you. And you were making sure I didn't see you. Boy, you did a Harlem shuffle right back to the, to the, to the desk so fast it was unreal. I've never seen anybody run so fast. It was unreal. I was not trying to steal anything from you. Well, I'll tell you, you got caught, okay, that you were, okay, let's pretend you're not trying to steal. You shouldn't have touched my operation and what I do. I didn't ask you to help me. I didn't want you to help me. And, and if I wanted you to help me, it would have been stay behind the desk since you said you're sick and you're going to the emergency room and away from me and the customers. That's insubordination as well. You shouldn't even come to work sick if you were supposedly sick. I'm not so sure. I don't know. I mean, you, you go to the doctor. You said you said you had you had you were positive for COVID at home. Then you went to the doctor. You weren't positive for COVID. I don't know what it is. Nobody knows. I mean, you're like taking COVID and tests every day. And then. Because you said you were sick, and you you were talking you were talking, and you were mumbling. You weren't. You didn't sound coherent. Almost like you were maybe on a hallucinogen or something. I don't know, but I, I couldn't put up with it. But I, I, I'll, I'll holler at you some other time. I'll talk to you later, okay? But that you wanted a reason why. You got the reason why. And Brand basically, I'm being fired just because I was trying to help. You and that. well, Brandy thinks you uh, and and many other people have complained that you that you smell of marijuana. And that you're high in in the establishment. There's the other reason. Customers. Call. And customers are complaining at the desk. At the desk, you smell of marijuana, and then you're groggly, and, and it, you you can't. It, uh, we had customers asking you for help, and you were asleep at the desk. I look. I got that on camera too, by the way. That's when I was sick, and I was, and I told. No, you this, know, was this was a few weeks back. This was a few weeks back. This was a few weeks back. 
And so, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't have that. You know, maybe, maybe you can go get, get you some help you need. And I hope you do. But, I don't do any drugs, but okay. well, I, I don't know about that, but, but that, that's okay. It, it's over. All right. Have a good day. All right. You can do